Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Now, this video is going to answer the age old beginner question. What is an array? Well, it's actually far more simple than you think. An array is basically a list. That's it. That's that's really the end of the video. No, I'm joking. It's it's really not that simple. It's like a fancy fancy pants version, technical term for a list of things. Yeah, it's just it's denoted with these square brackets and there's a list of things like numbers one, two, three. There you go, that's an array. Amazing. It's really not that complex. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> it can sound very complex when you first arise, uh, arrive into JavaScript because you're not used to the terminology. So let num array equal one, two, three. We now have an array with the numbers one, two, and three. Now, uh, we can have a list of anything. We can use a uh, string. So let's string array equal, got to add those square brackets. Yeah, the square brackets are basically how we know it's an array, yeah? Um, a, B, C. Yeah, we could have a list of movies and we could even have uh, within this, hang on, movie array, let's do it this way, movie array equals, and then we could actually have an array within it. We could list, um, you know, comedies, Clueless, and oh god, I don't know, When Harry Met Sally, yeah, and then we could have another array, which is drama, and we have Pan's Labyrinth, oh god, how to spell labyrinth, I think that's wrong, anyway, you know, and we could have more, more movies. Inception, <laughs> whatever. So we can have arrays within arrays within arrays within arrays. It doesn't matter. But basically what it is, is a list. And we can access each item of this list using indexes, just like we do with strings. So for example, with our string array above, A, B, C, we could say, um, let letter A equal string array zero. Yeah, remember that indexes begin at zero. Right. Oh, thank you. Autocorrect. Um, and so on and so forth. So we could do string array one would be B, string array two would be C. Yeah. So this is where you have to be careful with things like these numbers because zero is one and one is two and two is three. And it gets a bit confusing. But all you need to know really here is that an array denotes a list of a list of anything. Right. And it allows us to access each of those in turn if we want to. So this becomes especially useful for things like loops, which I'm sure we will be doing soon. So I hope you found that useful. We are going to get into much more detail about array methods very soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.